Hare Krishna. Summary of Canto 4, Chapter 16. Praise of King Prithu by the professional recitals. Even after the humble chastisement of King Prithu, the professional bards continued to glorify him. The bards were very pleased by the humility of King Prithu's nectarian speech, but still they continued to praise him as instructed by the sages. From the instruction of the sages, the bards understood that King Prithu was an incarnation of the Lord. Prithu was smiling and was in a pleasant mood while speaking to the bards. This inspired them to praise him further. They said, it is not possible for us to glorify you because you are an incarnation of the Lord and you have appeared out of your causeless mercy. Even great orators like Brahma and the demigods cannot actually describe your glorious activities. Nonetheless, we will try to glorify you. You are a Shakti Avesha avatar and your pastimes are ever laudable. We have a great taste for glorifying your activities and we have been encouraged by the sages. They first glorified King Prithu as the upholder of Dharma. They said, you are the best among the followers of Dharma. You engage everyone in following Dharma and you give all protection to Dharma and you chastise those who oppose Dharma. They said that Prithu will act like different demigods in their departmental activities to maintain the living entities. He will maintain the upper planets by inducing people to perform sacrifices and the earthly planet by discharging rainfall. So Prithu's functioning as various demigods is described further by the bards. The bards said, as demigod Surya, whose function is to evaporate water for eight months and release water for four months in the monsoon season, Prithu Maharaj will exact taxes from his citizens and release them in times of need. Just like how Bhumi tolerates everything, Prithu Maharaj will, out of his causeless mercy, be forgetful and forgiving even to the persons who trample over his head. Just like how Indra supplies rain, Prithu Maharaj will supply rain when there is no rainfall and protect the citizens from drought. Just like Chandra who pleases the world with his cooling rays, Prithu Maharaj will please the world with his affectionate glances and charming smiles. Just like how Varuna is glorious and he hides the valuables, Prithu Maharaj will keep his policies, activities, methods of success and treasury very confidential. Just like how Vishnu is extremely glorious, Prithu Maharaj will have greatness, qualities, wonderful qualities and he will have the influence of Lord Vishnu. Just like how Agni is extremely powerful, Prithu Maharaj will be unapproachable, unbearable and unconquerable to his enemies. Just like how Vayu is all-pervading, Prithu Maharaj will see the actions of all beings internally and externally through his spies. Just like how Vayu is also neutral, Prithu Maharaj will be neutral to praise and blasphemy. He will take both praise and blasphemy equally. Just like how uh, Dharma is impartial, similarly Prithu Maharaj will be neutral to either his own son in punishing if misbehaving or the son of an enemy releasing him if innocent. Just like how the sun is impeded and never separated from sunshine, Prithu Maharaj will have impeded and never separated influence up to Manasottara mountain. Then they began to praise the various qualities of King Prithu. They said, Prithu Maharaja's activities will be very pleasing to the minds of the citizens who will gladly call him Raja. He will be fixed in his vows, true to his promise, respectful to the Brahmanas. He will render service to the elders. He will be the protector of all living beings. He will be respectful to everyone. He will be extremely kind to the suffering and he will treat other women as his own mother. He will be affectionate to his wife as if she were half his body. He will be affectionate to the citizens like a father. 
He will be the servant of the devotees who preach the Lord's glories. He will consider all living beings as himself. He will increase the joy for his friends. He will intimately associate with the liberated person. He will punish the wicked. He is indeed the Lord's Shakti Avesh Avatar. He is the master of the three worlds. He is changeless. And seeing all material varieties as meaningless because of their basic principle is me science, he will be perfect. Then they predicted Prithu Maharaj's future activities. They said, this uniquely powerful king will travel on his victorious chariot with his invincible bow all around the globe exactly like a sun. All kings and demigods will offer him presentations and their wives will glorify him considering him to be the original king Adiraja who carries in his hands the emblems of the club and disc. How the women glorify Prithu is described in the next four verses. By, they said that by being an extraordinary king Adiraja equal to a Prajapati, he will milk the earth as a cow for the living facility of all citizens. He will level the surface of the earth with his bow, breaking all the hills like Indra. All demoniac rogues and thieves will hide themselves when the lion like King Prithu travels all over his kingdom vibrating the string of his bow. He will perform 100 Ashwamedha sacrifices and Indra will steal the sacrificial horse in the 100th sacrifice. He will meet Sanat Kumar, worship him with devotion and receive spotless knowledge by which one can enjoy transcendental bliss. Thus King Prithu will always hear about himself and his uniquely powerful activities wherever he goes. His fame will be widespread. With unchecked power, he will conquer the world and eradicate the threefold miseries of the citizens. Both the Suras and Asuras will constantly glorify him. This ends the summary of Canto 4, Chapter 16, Praise of King Prithu. Hare Krishna.